there. Cold, windy day here in Kansas. Thought I'd stop. Need to get this horse to settle down. He's a little goofy. Easy. Easy. Scared of that camera. I thought I'd stop and maybe give you a little review. Mm -hmm. Of a holster. All right. So what we got on today is a Duke Frazier Slim Jim or California style cross draw. Now I've worn this every day for going on. This is right out two weeks now. And I've had it in the tractor, in the pickup. I love this thing. And today I have the Griswold and Gunnison in it. I don't suggest that you carry a throw that out of the way. I don't suggest you carry a cap and ball revolver for defense, but I carry it out here because all I'm gonna run into is snakes, badgers, and porcupines. Any of which can give you a bad time on a horse. I would carry a gun pretty well everywhere. I used to carry a straight, up and down, strong side uh, holster. But when you're on a horse, your leg tends to be out about like that. And the butt and the hammer will dig into your side if you're a fat boy like me. So the other option you have is to wear a drop down Buscadero style. But if you're on a horse, that will flop around and beat your leg till it's black and blue. And might even scare the horse. So... I found that this cross draw by Duke Frazier, right here, and it's this. Is, it'll fit an 1860 Army. It'll fit a 51 Navy. Uh, it'll even fit an 1872 open top, but it is a little tight where the ejector rod housing is. But anyway, when you go to get on a horse like this, almost always get on the left side because that's how most horses are trained. And so if you're uh, have that strong right hand side uh, up and down it kind of impedes your ability to swing your leg over the saddle however the way this sets like I said this horse is nervous so the way this sets it's not that bad swing up get kicked in the stirrup now the way this rides rides right there in the crease of your th of your hip there and should you need to draw it's right there. It's easy to put it back. So Duke did a good job with this holster. It comes in several different colors. He can make it pretty much to any barrel length you want if you have a sheriff's version or something or anything like that. He makes long, short, uh, cross draw holsters. We'll do some more reviews on them. This is for the California style or the Slim Jim style. And uh, if you want a holster like this, if you're a guy who works every day Believe me, and you want to carry a longer barrel gun, this will work in a tractor, a pickup, a horse. This will work just about anywhere. And like I said, it holds up really well. This is two weeks, it's got a few scuffs on it, nothing bad. All right, so let's talk about this Slim Jim holster. Of course, I have my Griswold here, it is loaded. As you can see, I don't carry an empty gun and I'm not gonna unload it. It's on a safety pin, it's fine. I'm not pointing at anybody, but. All right, here's this holster. As you can see, it has a few scuffs on it. Like I said, this is two weeks of completely solid wear. As you can see, right here, there's a little bit of mud on there. That's where it hits on when I uh, get in and out of the tractor. It hits on the arm there just a little bit. But it's a lot better than a straight up and down. Here, it has the toe plug sewed into it. Like you see, some wear down there. That's just gonna happen. Like I said, I couldn't be more happy with this thing. Couldn't be more pleased. Very comfortable to carry. I can carry a complete full-sized 1860 Army and most of the time, if I'm on a horseback or in the pickup, don't even know it's there. So originally when I ordered this holster from Duke, I had in mind to carry my 1860 Army in it and it works just fine for that. But I discovered it also works just fine for an 1851 Navy. It's in there a little deeper, but not much. It cleared the bottom right there. It actually covers the gun up really well. It also, of course, fits my Griswold and Gunnison with a bent frame. And I discovered that it'll fit uh, conversions and even the 1872 open top. However, bear in mind that this ejector rod here sticks out a little bit. And so it's a little tight going in. You can see it formed up right there. And uh, it will work just fine if you if you left this in here for a few days or worked it around. It wouldn't be tight at all. It's a little tight right now, but that's fine. Keeps the gun from falling out. It'll fit an 1861 Navy. Basically anything in that size range of the 51 Navy, 61 Navy, 60 Army. 
this holster will fit just fine. Like I said, if I was gonna be on a horseback or on a four-wheeler in a tractor or riding around in a vehicle with a long with a longer gun, say this 51 Navy, when you sit down it'll just go up in the crease of your leg like that. You'll never even be able to tell it's there. Anyway, so if you want this holster, contact Duke Frazier and uh, give yourself plenty of time because he is a living historian reenactor and that's his job and so he has to work on these kind of in his off time so give yourself a couple weeks and uh, he'll make you a good holster all right thanks for watching